I cannot believe I have to make this video to explain myself, but after getting all these comments, every week, every week. I'm just wondering, like, how is that a problem? The easy thing to do is go around like pointing faults in other people rather than looking at yourself in a mirror and this is how insecure people operate. I've been featured in newspapers for my good grades, okay? Newspapers for my story. Featured in magazine, radio, TV in Singapore. I'm an author and I'm voted by people as Singapore's top trading guru two years ago and many other stuff which I'm not going to mention, okay? What have these people to show for? I guess nothing much. You don't know what people are going through. Like, I have massive social anxiety that I'm dealing with all the time. I get it, like, I don't dress like the norm, okay? Wow, are you a girl? Boy, there are people who come to me, strangers, face to face, and then tell my friend or my mom who's walking beside me, whoever's beside me, and be like, is that a boy or girl? How come your daughter look like boy? Like, I don't even know these people. And do you know what that comment does to somebody's self-esteem? Especially if they hear it all the time. Like, do you think I don't face any problems? There are so many times pre-pandemic I would go out and then people would like point fingers and stuff. You know, I can tell, I can tell. They were laughing at me and all that. And the thing is, I get that it's hard to tell sometimes because like, I don't wear dress, I used to wear dress, but I just feel like it's not me, okay? I cannot believe I need to explain this. If you cannot tell, first thing first, which guy would name himself Karen? And I got this stupid name from Harvest Moon. There's a girl inside called Karen. And I thought she was cool, so I took that name. So kids, try not to play games too much. That was like 12, 13 years ago. And yes, there are people who use that against me. No wonder you're so rude. Your name is Karen. As if somebody gave that name to me and then I'd be like, okay, let me accept that. I put myself out there online, it's a given, but to get this kind of comments about the way I look every week, it hurts me. It hurts me. If you cannot tell, if you cannot tell, which I understand to an extent, why can't you just type and check my website or even read the description of the video below because every single video, there's a description about me. Careful is an author, trader, something like that, okay? She, she. Then there are some people who ask why, why? You know how certain people, they just love wearing leather jackets all the time, okay? But then you tell them to wear like a cotton jacket another day, they'll be like, this is not me, this is just not me. I mean that cotton jacket is nice, but it's just not me. It is beautiful, yeah? It's for other people, but I don't wear cotton jacket. Leather jacket is more me. I have had long hair before, okay? But because I was a competitive swimmer, okay? So I gotta wash my hair a lot. So washing long hair is very troublesome. And some more, I need to tie it every day, okay? Second thing. Then third thing, when it's very long, I feel very hot. I mean like hot and I'm very sensitive to heat and I don't like having hair around my neck, it feels very uncomfortable. Then I just keep it short and then it's easy to wash, easy to dry, easy to manage, easy for me to play sports. That's it. Like I just feel comfortable in it. Why, why do you need me to explain? Why are people so curious? Why can't I just focus on the content? Like does my hairstyle affect the way you learn? If you want somebody who fits your stereotype, okay? There are many other YouTubers out there. There are female YouTubers out there you can learn from. Go learn from them. Did I force you to learn from me? In fact, I'm not even interested to teach stupid idiotic clowns. You look this way because you want to become a boy. Like, if I want to become a boy, okay? I have the money to go and change my gender. I can. Why is it until now I still haven't do it? 
Why, why is it that I don't change my name? Why is it that when people call me sir, I get pissed off? I wear certain things, I keep a certain hairstyle, just so that I can feel good, comfortable with myself. That's it! Do you think I start this YouTube channel, you, you, you think I become a speaker? On day one, I'd be like, how can I make people like me? I don't give a shit whether you like me or not. At this point, I'm just... I don't know what to say, okay? I try to do a teaching video, okay? And then sometimes there's going to be voices in my head that reminds me, oh, do you remember that somebody told you that you look like this, you look like that? I know people tell me to turn off the comments and all that, but if I turn off the comments, then I won't be able to read the good comments from you. So it's like, in order for me to read the good comments, I would have to come across all these insecure people's comments as if I'm not already struggling with social media. People still have to find time out of their day to go and type such things for me every day, almost every day nowadays. And like I said, I'm human, I just need to take time to get used to it. Especially with the way I look. And also with my Harvest Moon name. Since that name, you know, it came from a game, so let that be my gaming name. Okay? Because my real name is Britney. Britney Fu. Call me Britney. Bitch. If you have watched this video, that is totally not related to trading. I'm so sorry about that because I just feel that I need to explain myself which is stupid because I get all these comments every week about the way I look. Even if I don't look at social media, there are stupid people out in the coffee shop, strangers, often they are the older generation, okay, aunties and uncles, walk up to me or my mum and just make that one comment and then just leave. Just rude. People are just rude nowadays. Like, if you are rude to me, don't expect me to be nice to you. Okay? Like, I've been bullied since I was in play school. Like, I did not stand up for myself back then. Do you think that right now I'm just going to continue to be like that? If you're not nice to me, if I feel that you're entitled, super entitled, I'm gonna be rude to you, whether you like it or not. Don't like it, then go and watch other YouTubers. They are so nice because they need to sell you an expensive course. Nothing wrong with that, just that if I'm interested to sell you a course, okay? I'll make sure I'll be the most professional, nicest speaker in the world. Would you rather me to be fake nice? I'm right now on a vacation, okay? On a holiday. And this Friday, I'm flying to another place for a holiday again, okay? To just take care of my mental health. Get away from all this stupid stuff, you know? Like, just get away from all this stupid stuff. And people, sometimes I wish I could just get a dog. Cat? No, no, I don't really want a cat now. I had one, but, but it ignores me all the time. Just so tired of it. I just wanna focus on myself right now and do the things that makes me happy. You know? And that's all I can say. That's all I can say. So with that, talk to you in the next video. Bye.